Hey, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you how to import profiles into your Corsair Utility Engine software. So the first thing you're going to want to do is simply go over to Corsair and their website and go to their download section and you will find the CUE or the Corsair Utility Engine there and just download the latest version. Get that done with and you're fine. Next thing you're going to want to do is actually just look up Corsair RGB Profile. After you do that, you'll be taken to Google and the second option is going to be the option that takes you to the actual Corsair forums where you can find many different profiles to use. The one I suggest the most is a guy named Louis Gershwitz, I think is the name. I'm probably butchering it. I'll type it somewhere on the screen. It'll probably be there in text. But he makes some really good ones. And I actually, all of mine I use, except for my Dishonored one and the one you see right here that says pink, are his, pretty much. So we're going to go ahead and pretty much act like we've already done that. We've already downloaded it. So I've went over... Uh, got his Overwatch WinOR archive, okay? So you now bring that to the desktop. What you want to do after doing that is open it up and take out overwatch.prf. Pull that out also to the desktop. Close that out real quick. After that, you can see this little profile thing that I've made right here. You're going to want to do that too. So you're going to want to go right-click on the desktop, go to New, and then open up Folder. This is very important because you can't just throw this into um, or try to import this whole file right here with this. It won't allow it. You have to actually take out the profile itself and do this and to make it easier. I mean, you can always just go ahead and go to get desktop and then just take Overwatch from desktop by simply just going to import and then going to desktop and it'll be like there. Like you can see right here, this little Overwatch right here is and you can just take it but I find a lot more easy to make an actual new folder and make it called profiles you want to just drag it put it inside of profiles boom like that and then go over to your CUE your queue go to import and you'll see overwatch right there double tap and it should be going in very soon as you can see overwatch just goes in and you'll have different lighting effects, loading, logo, the little Overwatch logo, game keys, Genji, McCree, if it would, you know, actually go in it. There's a whole bunch of, there. he actually picked all these different things um, that he did. This is, like I said, Louis Gershwitz, I think is the name. I'm, like I said, I'm probably butchering. And he did all this. It's really dope. So that's pretty much just how, basically how you import um, a file, a profile into Q. Uh, the next thing I'm going to be showing you in the next video is to how to switch between modes. So you can go between all these different modes right here very easily and just switch between them just in case you're using like maybe a different, um, you know, uh, what the fuck is their names? They're not operators. Well, I'm just, I'm just going to call them stars. I, I don't know what the fuck to call them. Characters. So you're switching between different characters. There you go. All right. And then also to show you how to profile switch, so you can switch from Overwatch to Rainbow Six Siege to maybe Sky Williams, which is also another thing that Lewis Gershwitz made. And I have that because he has the Rainbow one that's pretty much from um, Razor. So, yeah, I'm going to show you that in the next video. So that'll be pretty much just right up after this. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys can go ahead and add those profiles that you really wanted if you had trouble. And uh, I'll see you all later. Bye.